Alright, so if you've been watching the channel for a little bit now, you know that I am a big fan of electric skateboards. I think they're super convenient. I think they're the easiest way to get around a college campus, especially when it's as big as Princeton. And last year, I did have the Acton Blink S2 board, but there were a few problems with it. It was acting up a little bit, and I wasn't too happy with the performance of it. So when Boosted Board announced their new Boosted Board Mini S, I instantly decided to pick one up because I've been looking for a new electric skateboard and you guys know that Boosted Board is probably one of the best on the market right now. Now the reason I wanted for the Boosted Mini series rather than just the regular Boosted Boards is that since I'm on a college campus, the range I'll be needing is maybe 7 to 10 miles max per day and that's given that I'm riding a lot. So I decided to go for the Mini because it's just way more portable and a lot lighter. I went for the Mini S instead of the Mini X which is their higher version of the Boosted mini series because once again i don't need that extended range battery life i don't need the extra two miles per hour that it can do i think that the top speed on this is about so the top speed on this is up to 18 miles per hour which is plenty fast enough and the range is up to seven miles so getting up and down campus a few times a day like this board will be perfect to cover all that distance a couple other cool features of this is that it obviously comes with a boosted app so you can check the battery life on your phone and check how many miles you've been riding there's also regenerative braking meaning that every time you break it charges up the battery a little bit so you can you know save a little bit of battery and get home if you need to there's three different ride modes beginning to expert just depending on how much you've been skateboarding and if you're brand new to electric skateboards and so yeah let's just open this bad boy up now for the record this video is not sponsored I emailed boosted reaching out if they were interested in sponsoring uh, they didn't get back to me so I ended up purchasing it myself this board retails for $750, which is a bit on the pricier end, but if you're comparing it to other electric skateboards, it's a little bit more affordable. And it's also an investment if I'm gonna be at school for another couple years. All right, so on the box it says, love getting there. Ooh. Now it also comes with this accessory box, it's really nice packaging, good job Boosted. So this is obviously the infamous Boosted remote, um, which kind of has the accelerate and decelerate and the brakes. They also come with some stickers, the charging cable, and then another charging cable. Alright, so I quickly read through the instruction manual, not that I normally need it, but the board itself is relatively small. It's a little heavier than I expected, but I mean, that's what you get with an electric skateboard. They're never going to be super light. On the bottom is the battery pack with the wheels. I really like these orange colors, and since we're at Princeton, the cool thing about boosted boards is that their motors are belt suspension, meaning that it can go a little faster and have more revolutions so that you're getting the most out of your motors rather than having like a single hub or a dual hub motor compared to other electric skateboards. Now, the biggest thing and the reason that boosted boards are so hyped about is their build quality just feeling this thing it feels super sturdy it feels like it will not break down on me like my other board it feels that it will last me a, definitely a couple years luckily the board and the battery have already come pretty charged so in order to start the board you press the button and then you go. so you can just hear it and that sounds fast so um, I think I'm gonna go test it out and give you guys my first impressions of the first ride I've ridden one of these boards and it feels good it feels a lot better than my last board and it feels sturdy it feels fast it feels safe most importantly so right now I'm in the intermediate mode and that means I'm not even going the fastest it can go and I'm still going at a fairly decent speed honestly at first the remote was a little hard to get used to but I think I figured it out all right I'm gonna change this to the extreme mode and just kind of see how it goes Wow, this thing takes off when it's in extreme mode. Um, the acceleration was a little jumpy at first and it almost threw me off, not gonna lie. But the braking is pretty good. It, it doesn't do well for like hard braking, but it is um, a gradual deceleration, so. So yeah, that was 
the acceleration time and like I said it picks up guys. It's actually a lot faster than I expected and I haven't even hit the top speed yet. making a quick pit stop in the middle of this review to get some food at D'Angelo's which is just local sandwich shop and Italian market and their food is popping. It's fun. Oh, dude, it's fast, bro. Did you get the home team? Yeah. <laughs> 